Hello, I'm Layla McKinnon. Welcome to A Current Affair. Tonight, a retail giant's collapse, what it means for your family. Open for inspection, our exclusive look into Australia's most impressive homes for sale. 50 years young, how the pill has meant freedom for generations of couples. And secret car bargains, they're so good, even the dealers don't want you to know about them. First tonight to the financial collapse of an Australian retail giant and the thousands of families that have been left out of pocket in its wake. Clive Peters has stores right around the country and opened its doors to trade this morning. For many customers though, collecting their purchases was proving impossible. I've paid two and a half grand for my TV from Clive Peters and they won't give it to me. I paid $600 for a fridge, Clive Peters at Logan Home. I can't get my fridge and I can't get my money. Not happy. They are the innocent victims of a collapsing business. I'm sorry, you can't enter the site. I'm a paying customer. These customers yeah. are here yeah, to see if they can... Well, these customers have just yeah. come to see if they can get I'm the goods sorry. that they've paid for. While they refused to let our cameras in, Clive Peters management also refused to help their paying customers. Up yours. Bastards. Pauline Crandon just wanted to collect the fridge she bought for her son a week ago. So would they give you your, your fridge? No, no, they won't. No, they won't. Even though you've paid for it? That's right. Even though I've paid for it, they will not give me my fridge. Daryl White got the same answer when he tried to collect his TV. No, they're not going to give me my telly and uh, they're not giving me a refund and uh, he just took a print out and said I'll give it to the PBB, whatever the hell that is, and that's about it. So no guarantee of when you might get it or if you'd get your money back? No, nothing at all. Falling sales and ballooning debt has seen Clive Peters slide into receivership. Some estimate their debt level at $140 million. And while many in the business aren't surprised at what's happened, those really left out in the cold are customers who've paid for goods that Clive Peters are now telling them they can't have. I've been robbed. It's like theft. Invalid pensioner Ingrid Savick couldn't make it into the store to ask for the TV she's been paying off with her pension for 14 months. On a pension you have to go without. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't go out. The TV is my only entertainment and it's gone. After a house fire at her home in Victoria, Marie Hercules spent more than 3,000 on white goods at Clive Peters. Yes, well, they have the stock on the floor because it's the, everything has been frozen. All the stock on the floor has to be made as a new purchase. So instead of $3,000, it's going to cost me $6,000. And I just don't understand why they can't give me what's on the floor. It's the same situation in Perth where the company is known as Rick Hart. Here, hundreds of buyers are more than a million dollars out of pocket. It's so easy. For years, they told us doing business with them was easy. But financial experts like Tom Elliott say the company has been in trouble for some time. Share prices have uh, been trading at record lows. As we know, $20 million went missing last year. The company has been struggling. This isn't a surprise. I had no idea, but the staff definitely did. You believe they did? Absolutely, 100%. 100%. They knew what was going on. Because the uh, administrator, when I talked to her, I said, did uh, everybody here know what was going on, like last night when I was paying for it? You know, so I can take it away today. And she said, no comment. I, ma I made a payment two weeks ago and nothing was said, but they would have known two weeks ago that trouble was ahead. Customers could have been sent letters saying, come and pick up your goods, but nothing was done. It's just sort of last thing we need at the moment. We're trying to rebuild our home and um, we feel like we're getting ahead and then we just get two steps back again. Worse still, people buying today are walking out with their goods. Only those who bought before the receivers moved in are left out in the cold. Probably My fridge is sitting in that shop in there and I've paid for it. So why can't I go in and pick it up? Which makes you wonder if there'll be a fire sale to make some quick cash. And if you've got cash in your pocket and you want to buy a well-known brand of uh, you know, white good or whatever it is, right. chances are okay. you can get it pretty cheaply at Clive Peters. What's it, $5.99 on that? $5.99, it's the best you can do, you reckon? I'll let you know, of course. <laughs> We do apologise for the technical problems 